So hello students, I hope all of you are doing great. Welcome to Vedant Solit English. This is Professor Arthur, your biology master of students. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the weekend class, right? Now students, today's class is going to be very, very interesting. I will be teaching you the bryophytes in the most interesting way ever. Like you have probably never learned bryophytes this way and I'll guarantee you that students. Now in this class, if you watch till the very end, I will be solving PYQs and also at the same time, at the end of the class, I will be reading the lines of NCRT word by word. So if you want to understand, if all of you want to have that extra clarity on word by word of NCRT, watch the video till the very end because that is very important. Okay, students. Sir. So students, with that being said, students, if I'm audible and visible to all of you students, quickly let me know in the chat students. If I'm audible and visible to all of you, quickly let me know in the chat right now, students. Just put thumbs up, hard, fire, whatever you want, students. Quickly in the chat, students. Hello, Joshua. Welcome, welcome, Rajesh. Hello, welcome, welcome. All of you, students. Welcome. Welcome to today's class, students. Welcome. Now, students, I want all of you to quickly smash the like button. Very simple rule in my class. Very, very simple rule. All of you know the students. All of you know the rule, right? Every single time I ask you the question, regardless of whatever you know, try answering. Because the more mistakes you do in my class, the less mistakes you will do in the examination. Yes or no, students? Yes or no? The more mistakes you do in my class, less mistakes you do in the examination. So make all the mistakes in my class only. Okay, students? Now all of you. Now, now I want all of you to close your eyes and think of bryophytes. Students, I want all of you to just close your eyes and just think of bryophytes. Who is coming to? What is coming to your mind right now? What is coming to your mind right now, students? Is that stupid diagram of Marcantia? Yes or no? That stupid diagram of Marcantia is coming to your mind right now? If yes, let me change that. Student. Let me change that. Okay. So we will start the class with some motivation by looking at some beautiful, extremely, extremely beautiful plants. Shall we, students? Shall we? All of you? See, students. These are called as bryophytes. Friends, uh, these are called as bryophytes, right? You might think bryophytes look very ugly. Bryophytes are very dirty. They are not. So look at the look at the bryophytes. It looks like an island. It looks like a it looks like a mini coconut tree. Yes or no? It looks like a mini coconut tree. <laughs> mini coconut tree, friends. Mini coconut tree. Like look, this is your liverworts because it looks like a liver here. Okay, I'll show you, friends. See, so so just just look at the beautiful structure of your marcantia. So this is the actual Marcantia and here do you see these are called as Jamaicups. So if you want to learn more about them, I will teach you in today's class. Nothing to worry, nothing to worry in my class. Okay, that's what answer. This is the diagram which is given in NCRT. Same thalai, same thalai. Doesn't this look interesting more? Yes or no students, all of you? Doesn't this look more, look more interesting? Yes, it does obviously. Now, all of you, now try to look at, all of you might have seen this diagram. Yes or no? Students, all of you might have seen this diagram in NCRT. Let me show you a better diagram. Let me show you. Let me show you something better. This is how they look like. It looks like a mini flamingo. Like mini flamingo is coming from somewhere. Yes or no? These are called as what? Mosses. These are called as mosses here. Looks like a flamingo coming out. This is the gametophyte. This is the sporophyte. If you do not know what is a gametophyte sporophyte, don't worry. Do not worry. I will teach today. I'll teach you today, students. Okay. Just look at those students. These are your mosses. These are your mosses. Students, these are called as hornworts. They are not present in your syllabus. Notes I will give you in Telegram. Don't worry, students. Notes. Now, these are called as hornworts. They are not in your syllabus. But remember, they are also type of bryophyte only. Okay. They are type of bryophytes. Now, students, do you know what is this? Students, do you know what is this? This right here is called as sphagnum. Here. The same sphagnum given here, but look at this. This looks so much better. Yes or no? This looks so much better. So in this class today, I will be trying to teach you bryophytes in a much more visual manner. In a way that you will understand bryophytes better. You will able to connect with the bryophytes better. Okay, so with that being said, I want all of you to lock in. I want all of you to lock in right now for the next one hour or one hour, 20 minutes without any distractions, without any thing around you to take up your concentration. So students, with that being said, shall we start students? Shall we start today's class? Shall we start students? All of you, shall we start? Can I get a fire students? Can I get a fire emoji in the chat if you are logged in right now? For the next one hour, 
we are locked in. So let's go, student. Let's go. Now, first questions arise. There is a very famous question. Very, very famous question. Okay. Algae had everything. Algae was thriving in water. Algae was aquatic in nature. If it had everything, why did the algae evolve? See, all of us know algae, bryophyte, pteridophyte. Now, what caused the evolution? What was the reason for the evolution? Students, what was the reason for evolution? If algae were aquatic, they had everything to survive successfully. But why did the plants move to the land? Why did they have to evolve? Students, very simple reason. Tell me, students, where do you find more nutrients? Do you find more nutrients in the case of water or land? Obviously, students, land has more nutrition. So, obviously, and inside the water, sometimes the sunlight doesn't go to the bottom of the ocean. It does not. So, there are multiple reasons for the evolution. Okay. Multiple reasons for evolution. Insufficient sunlight underwater. Underwater. Insufficient sunlight. Nutrition depletion due to algal growth. Land was more nutrient rich. So, land was more nutrient rich. So, they, they move towards the land. Students. Now, let me tell you one small story. Okay. Now, let's say uh, our Joshua and Sairam and let's say two of you also. Now, you go to a new school. When you go to a new school, do you make friends very suddenly? 